Hey everyone, today we're going to be learning about how to identify solids and nets. So I brought some solids here to teach you about edges, vertices, and faces, and these are going to help us with today's 7-5 practice and problem solving and vision assignment for uh, Pearson Realize, 6th grade. Uh, welcome. My name's Jason Jacobs. It's great to be here. How are you guys doing today? I hope you had a great day. It is a beautiful day out here. And uh, we were just getting out of winter and now we're in spring. And look here, this is my bu um, bunny bubbles, my magic bunny that comes to all my magic shows. We hang out as much as possible, especially when we're doing math, okay? Uh, let's go ahead and get started. It says number one, identify the solid from its net. Oh, before we begin, stick around because number five is worth the price of being here, which is free. So stick around for number five. I've got some great tips and insight that you'll use the rest of your life. And instead of just guessing your way through, let's let's do it the right way. And we'll, we'll do it together. All right, let's 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 get our math work done. Right, Bubbles? Okay, identify the solid from its net. Well, before we start, these right here, are prisms. This is a cube. All six faces are the same. And this is a triangular prism. It's a triangular prism because it has two bases and three lateral faces. So those are prisms. And pyramids, pyramids come up to one vertex up here. This is a square pyramid, a square pyramid. And we have the famous rectangular prism rectangular prism and the triangular pyramid see the base is a triangle and it comes up right here to one vertice here so pyramids come up like this just think of Egypt with pyramids and prisms have two congruent bases two congruent bases right there and this one right here this is a bonus one this doesn't show up in sixth grade in vision but this is a hexagonal prism right because these two congruent uh, faces here and then these are called lateral faces coming down lateral faces so you got a lot of vocab there let's get some more vocab let's talk about faces edges and vertices so let's count the faces on this rectangular prism we have one these two faces are the same so one two the top and the bottom are the same the two side faces are the same so three four and then the front and the back are the same, so five, six. So this has uh, five, uh, six faces, six faces, and let's now count the edges. So these are the edges going right here. That's one, two, three, four. And on the back side, five, six, seven, eight. And now the lateral, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So it's got twelve edges. Now let's talk about the vertices. Those are the ouchies, ouchies, where if you got hit with a vertice, that would hurt. So ouchies, ouch, 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 ouch. That's four, five, six, seven, eight, eight vertices. Okay, now we'll get started. I think I'll need this right here. Identify the solid from its net. So if you fold this up, if you fold these up right here, it's going to come up. It looks like a rectangle here. And it comes right up to a pyramid like this. Now, this is a square pyramid, but this, this one will be a rectangular pyramid. A rectangular pyramid. Let's see how we did, guys. All right, great. And the next one. Okay, if we fold this one up here, if we fold this one up here, it becomes a triangular pyramid. A triangular pyramid right here. There we go. How you guys doing on your assignment? Oh, if we fold all this up, it looks like six equal faces. Which one of these shows six equal faces? Um, do they even have it here? This looks like it would be a cube, right, guys? That folds up into a cube. They don't seem to have that here. Rectangular prism, maybe? Okay. Now, I personally think that that one's a cube. That must be one of uh, the glitches here because this is a rectangular prism. However, a square is a rectangle, but a rectangle is not a square. So I guess technically you could call this a rectangular prism as well, although 
I think it is a cube. Let's see what else we have here. Okay. Zari folds the net shown into a model of the solid figure. How many faces, edges, and vertices? How many edges, faces, and vertices does the model have? All right. So it looks like it comes here. Now, this is why I brought these solid figures for us, guys, because um, it's really hard to count the edges. Like, what do you do? Do you count this? But see, this edge and this edge are shared edges. That's a shared edge, so you can't really go around counting. I mean, the faces, we can clearly see that there's six faces. So I'm going to put that in. Not 67. But how how do we even count the vertices? You cannot do one, two, three, four, um, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, I guess you can do that. I guess you can do that. See, I thought when they folded up, they would be shared. But I guess with the way this net is drawn, I don't know if this will be everywhere. But let's let's count the vertices here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there are eight vertices. Now there is a relationship here, which we're going to see on the next question. See, eight vertices and six faces. What's the difference there? Where there uh, that foreshadows. Now the edges. Now the edges are what I like using this for. The, the polyhedron. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So, twelve edges, guys. Okay, let's see how we did. Okay, here's the big dog. This is probably the one why you needed some help, maybe. A triangular pyramid. Well, here we go, guys. Triangular pyramid. See if you can pause the video and count the number of faces, vertices, and edges here. All right, so faces, did you get four? Did you get four? And this one here says vertices. So one, two, three, four. So that's coincidentally the same. Faces plus vertices. So the faces plus the vertices. Four plus four is eight, okay? That's what that means. Now, the edges. One, two, three, four, five, six. There are six there. Now, we're going to be seeing a, a relationship right here between the sum of the faces of the vertices and the edges here in just a second. A rectangular pyramid. Well, a rectangular pyramid is the same as the square pyramid. So go ahead. I'm going to hold this up here, and you count the number of faces, vertices, and edges. See if you can fill this one in. Okay. Did you get it? Because I don't want you just copying down what I do. Although these probably change with every question. So let's see here. All right. Hopefully you guys did that. So there are five faces. Let me just count them for you in case you're confused. One, two, three, four, five. Did you guys see that? Uh, one, two, three, four, and then the base five. And vertices, there are one, two, three, four, five, five vertices, and then add those up and we get 10. And then the edges, guys, we have um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there's eight edges. Okay. Do you guys notice the difference here between the faces plus vertices to the edges? What's that the difference of? The faces plus vertices to the edges. What's that the difference of there? A triangular prism, a triangular prism right here. Let's count the number of faces. So we have one, two, those are the two bases, and then three lateral faces. So that's five faces. And now the um, vertices. One, two, three, four, five, six, wait, <laughs> one. The, wait, the number of vertices. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. There are six. I don't know why we got confused there, why I got confused. Uh, five plus six is 11. And now, any predictions from what the trends show here, any predictions, Bubbles, of what you think is going to happen with the number of edges? Well, let's see. Let's count. Okay, so the number of edges, guys. We have one, two, three four, five, six, and now seven, eight, nine. 
So there are nine edges. You guys see a pattern? Did it work out for you? It worked out for me. Rectangular prism. Now we did that one earlier. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in. There are six faces and there are eight vertices. And that is a sum. Sum is when you add uh, answer to an addition of 14. And then from the pattern, I can see that there are going to be 12 edges. Okay, now let's talk about the pattern. Did you see the pattern here? How many is it? It's two less. So the number of edges are two less than the sum of the faces and the vertices. Look at that, guys. And now that's going to come into play right now. Describe the pattern in the table. The number of edges is two less than, less than, bring this down a little bit, the sum of the, so it's two less than the sum of the faces plus the vertices. Now that question, you're gonna see a lot throughout school, okay? That relationship, you'll see that again next year in seventh grade and probably eighth grade too, and geometry, okay. So really get this. And look, they did it again. Here comes the Swiss magician. I was about to say magician because I'm a magician, but the Swiss mathematician, Leonard Euler, and the French mathematician, Rene Descartes, both discovered a pattern in the number of edges vertices and faces of polyhedrons. So these are just polyhedrons, these solid figures. Solve prop, um, solve these problems here. Okay, write an equation that relates to the number of edges to the number of faces and vertices. Select the correct choice below and fill in the answer box to complete your answer. So the edges equal, remember it was the faces minus, no, it was the faces plus the vertices and then what do we do, guys? Pause the video and see if you can figure this one out. Because you do the faces plus the vertices, and then you subtract out two, right? Because the faces plus the vertices is two more than the edges. So the faces plus the vertices minus two equals the edges, just like we did with that last one. All right. Use the equation from nine to find the number of vertices of a cube that has 12 edges and let's smooth this up six faces the cube has how many vertices okay so let's look at our let's look at here and we'll substitute the values 12 will be e six will be f okay so six plus what minus two equals 12. So 6 plus what? And then minus 2. So let's try to get um, to 2 more. with well, the inverse operation of subtracting 2 is adding 2. 2 more than 12. What's 2 more than 12? That's right, 14. So 6 plus what equals 14? So 6 plus 8 equals 14. And then 14 minus 2 is 12 right there. So there are eight vertices on a cube. All right. That was probably the problem you were needing some help on, and I'm happy to help. Let's take a look here, guys. Let's look at this. What do you think? Draw a net of a square pyramid. Let me just show you that. Okay, this is a square pyramid. Draw a net of a square pyramid that has a base that is six units long and the height of each triangular face is seven units. Okay, so the, um, the base is six by six. So let's see this one. That is two by two for that square. Nope. No, sorry. That one is, geez, could they make this any smaller? Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nope, nope, one, two, three, four, nope, wonder which one it is, guys, 
one, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, that's six units, right? And now we have to go up seven. So let's see, the height is seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there it is. And then next, we are going to find the surface area of this. So they'll, they'll give you this shape here and they'll say, find this polyhedron here and they'll say, find the surface area here. And you would find, what you would do is you would fold it out into a net, fold it out into a net like this. This will unfold and you'll find the area of the square here, six by six. So this is 36. And now we'll find the area of a triangle and the area of a triangle is are you okay back there, Bubbles? Base times height divided by 2. So this is 6 by 7. 6 times 7 is 42. And 42 divided by 2 is 21. So this is 21. This is 21. 21 square units. 21 square units. 21 and 21 is 42. And then plus another 42, because these two are 21. 21 is 84. So we have 84 plus 36 will give us that surface area. So that's basically surface area, which we'll be doing next. Hey, thanks guys. I hope this helped you. This is Bubbles and Jason Jacobs signing out of 7-5 Practice and Problem Solving on Pearson Realize Envision for 6th grade. Thanks guys. I'll see you later. Bye.